Catalonia will have a new foreign affairs minister tomorrow when Alfred Bosch will officially take office. Hello and welcome to Catalan News. Catalonia's foreign action has been in the spotlight for a while. The former Spanish government shut down all Catalan delegations abroad after the declaration of independence. The new executive in Barcelona has been reopening them in the last six months, but now there will be a change in the ministry. We'll tell you why, and also suggest some of the best restaurants in Catalonia. Raúl Romeva, a Green Party MEP for 10 years, was Catalonia's foreign affairs minister when the country declared independence last year. He is now in prison and the department he once led has been one of the most affected by Spain's period of direct rule. Six months after the intervention from Madrid was lifted, the ministry will now get a new head. The changing of the guard in Catalan politics. On one hand, Alfred Bosch was confirmed as the new foreign affairs minister today. On the other, his predecessor, Arnes Maragall, will replace Bosch as the leader of the Esquerra party in Barcelona. Great challenges lie ahead for both politicians, two of the highest-ranking officials in the pro-independence party. With a local election due in May next year, Maragall will try to dethrone Ada Colau as the mayor of the Catalan capital. The race is set to be crucial, and so Esquerra decided that Maragall, the brother of a former mayor, was a better candidate than Bosque. But the new minister has no shortage of challenges either. Bosque will be in charge of opening new government offices abroad. London, Rome, Paris, Brussels and Washington, D.C. are among the cities with government delegations, with new ones due to be launched in Lisbon, Vienna, Stockholm and Beirut, among other places. A year ago, Spain shut down almost all Catalan offices abroad. Despite the government change in Madrid, the belligerent approach remained, with the Spanish Foreign Minister Josep Burrell opposing the deployment of new delegations. Bosque will face Burrell in the bilateral summits between the Catalan and Spanish governments, after relations have deteriorated over the recent developments in the case against independence leaders. In fact, Bosque stressed that he saw himself as a temporary substitute of Raúl Romeva, the foreign minister during last year's referendum and declaration of independence, who is now in prison, awaiting trial. The political crisis in Catalonia and the infighting between those in favour and against independence has affected the Ombudsman. Rafael Ribó, appointed by Parliament, has published several reports condemning the imprisonment of political leaders, and this has attracted criticism from unionist parties. But the Ombudsman today got the support of the President of the International Ombudsman Institute, who wrote to the Ciutadans group in the chamber, urging them not to cast doubt on the independence of its members and warning them that it is his obligation to protect everyone's rights beyond ideologies. Dining at a Michelin star restaurant tends to be an experience one remembers for life, and in Catalonia there are a variety of options. Many of them were recognized and won new stars at a prestigious event in Lisbon last night. It's once again time for the Michelin star awards in Lisbon, and Cuisine in Catalonia was once again awarded at the gala last night. Taking home two stars were chefs Sergio and Javier Torres, with their new project, the Cocina Hermanos Torres, mirroring their recently closed establishment, also with two stars. The brothers called their new restaurant the warehouse of their dreams, a space designed around an open kitchen. But for them, the customers are what counts. Bueno, para nosotros las estrellas realmente son la gente que ve al restaurante cada día, que, que paga, que reserva, que at the event in Portugal, restaurants like La Barra de Carles Avellan, Oria and Terra won their first stars, and the chefs behind some of them are no strangers to the award, and Catalonia maintained its three-star restaurants, El Salleda Can Roca, La Sarte and Abac. Renowned chef Karma Ruscalleda was also invited to the gala, since she closed her restaurant less than a month ago, and her colleagues even called her up on the stage to pay homage to her work perquè trobo companys, perquè he vingut amb el meu fill, per tant, molt emocionant en una gala que no comptava sèrie de dir, t'invitem a que ens acompanyis. Catalonia is a prominent player in the world of haute cuisine, molecular gastronomy and the intersection of the two, perfectly captured by the Michelin star recognitions. And try one, there's no shortage of opportunities. The number of restaurants with this distinction in Catalonia sits at over 50, with 65 stars total. Do you like skiing? 
Now that temperatures are starting to drop, Catalonia shifts from a sun and sand destination to one with a lot of mountain sports options. The 11 ski resorts in the Lleida Pyrenees region hope to see more than 1.3 million skiers this season. They expect to start opening their doors between the end of this month and the beginning of December. The cold weather this autumn makes them hopeful for a good season, as it has started to snow earlier than usual. The resorts have invested 11.2 million in order to improve the services so you can enjoy yourself on the slopes. And now a bit of culture. Here at Catalan News we love culture and literature and that's why we are launching a new book review section. My colleague Rachel Bathgate will every month recommend a book from Catalan literature translated into English. The first one is Confessions. Yo Confesso, in Catalan, by author Jaume Cabré. Check out our website for more information or, if you feel like it, watch Rachel's video book review. And with this, we finish today's show. We leave you with some images of vultures in the Pyrenees that are about to be sent to Israel, where they want to repopulate the species. It's quite an animal. Thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow.